Hi guys, welcome back to another What You Doing Willow, not what's the word Willow, but what you doing Willow, Willow. <laughs> Yeah, I know that last vlog was pretty intense and just everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoy creating with you as always. But currently, um, me and Rodney are on our way to, to go our get most some. favorite thing. I know. Well, not our most favorite thing. Our most favorite thing is going to the movies. We should have went to the movies today. It's a nice movie day. But um, there's nothing really out that we want to see. But yes, me and Rodney are on our way to go get some food. Um, we went to Olive Garden because he, I guess he was craving it and not asking where he wanted to go today. So he took me where he wanted to go. And then he asked me, was it on me? Like it's still, like it's not my birthday still. It's not my birthday. Like what's wrong with this guy? Anyway, so yeah, we're, and this is like our first time hanging together since I've been back home from my trip. So, you would, th and he didn't even want to hang with me. Nothing. Nah, it's it is so crazy. He did it's not absolute. like he got all these plans. He picked up all these shifts. Like I don't understand. Like he don't even want to be with the girl. He don't even want to be with the love of his life. I'm not understanding that. But whatever. So yeah, I gotta crunch some time in the hang. I had to practically beg him to do this. So you know. And then we got in the car. He started complaining like I don't even feel like I'm like yo. He don't want to spend no time with me. I don't know why I've been mad emotional, but I'm just so emotional about everything he say, and I just want to hang out and love each other. And he just keep complaining about stuff. I don't understand it. Anyway, y'all, how are you guys? My name is Nigel Willow, whatever you want to call me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, we're I don't even we're on the road to 2K. Um. Stop playing, get my girl to 2K. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stop playing. We're on the road to 2K. I'm really excited because um, when I did come home from Miami, I was eligible to apply to be monetized. So I'm very excited about that. Hopefully by May, like in the middle of May or by the end of May, whatever, we'll know if we're monetized or not so i'm very excited and i just want to say thank you guys for getting my watch hours up and just watching my videos i really appreciate all the love and support it means a lot to me um so yeah we're currently about to go eat dinner now it's four o'clock so this is dinner time but we still gonna eat again after this pretty sure but yeah so that's what we're doing and it's a rainy nasty day in connecticut really rainy and nasty i'm a year older thank you for all the birthday wishes i'm a year older now wiser very excited about the journey life is taking me on and yeah so hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i enjoy creating it for you see you in the next clip okay you are thank you you're welcome Eating? Yes, I am. Yeah, I got this drink for years. It's called the sparkling stroke spiked strawberry. Something really good though. It was way more fruit in the picture. Way, way more strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it though. You got some bread? No. Yeah, we can't. Ooh, ooh. Is my thing gonna stay? I got it right here. Like this. I'm gonna try it out with the devs. That's good. I'm feeding them, right? I'm feeding them, right? Well, this thing will get down. Yeah. This is strong. Ain't thing about day drinks. It was instant, right? It wasn't cold enough to be warm. Mm -hmm. It was warm when I just drank it. I'm saying. Mmm. Alright, look here. Mmm. It's good. You gonna know, answer my question? What'd you say? What kind of liquor is in there? Oh, you Dang. said it. You wanna try it? 
Yo, I, I wonder if the camera picked that up. I asked you like five times. I be picking yo. I it, I be watching the video back. I be like, Rodney be talking to me. I will be answering her oh. time. <laughs> I hate that. That's why you think I be. Why you think I'm so aggravated about it? <laughs> Listen. I be talking to the video. So what? When you hear my voice, your antenna's supposed to ring. Mm -hmm, okay. Anyway. That's a real trucker hat. Pretty good. Pretty good, right? It's a, little it's a good strong. mixture. It's a little strong, though. Strong? Too strong for you? Not too strong. I'm just saying. It's, it's like, it's just. Alcoholic like ass. <laughs> nah, not too strong for me, but it's giving, like, it's overpowering. I want to be able to taste the ginger ale, the. Mm -hmm. I want to taste the ginger ale, the strawberry, and the liquor, not just the liquor. I'll tell you, I definitely taste the strawberry. I don't really taste the ginger ale. Me either, but it's good though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little cute drink. They could have gave a bigger cup though. No, they wanted to be bigger. You want to be bigger because you want to share it, <laughs> not to be <laughs> Get your own. Get your own. One more. No, I'm straight. You sure? How much are you? Five dollars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I try to play. <laughs> Get some more salad. Uh-uh, she can give us no cheese. Uh-uh. Mm. I took Ooh. a little bit more cheese. <laughs> Right. But we need some dressing. Nah, that's enough. Want that shit to be drenched up? Uh, yeah. Mm, that's all you're gonna taste. <laughs> that's the point of dressing, right? Not really. Uh. Just yeah. to take the dressing? <laughs> no, Wait, it just clicked. It just clicked. Here, do your own. Did you want to get cute? Cause he want to get cute. Yeah. I look at my eyes. That looks like a. a this is a big. Real good. Cool. Super real. I got some more tattoos. I'm looking at my arm. I'm looking kind of thorough. What they need to put is more fruits in this one. Mm hmm. We're just enjoying each other's company today. I'm enjoying his. I don't know if he's enjoying mine. All I said was the word gym. And she went up in the flames, yo. Mm-mm, don't move. You know what my friends are doing? Mm-hmm. But she can't come to the gym with me. Yeah, I'm not going to the gym. I ain't ready yet. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm not ready yet. I'm mentally not there. I'm, the gym and me got a hate-love relationship. Nah. It's just all hate. Hmm? It's all hate, no love. Where you going, you see the thing? Mm-hmm. It's a hate love relationship. Ain't nothing to it, but you do it. I ain't trying to do it. So there's something to it. No, it's the nothing to it. Mm. Yeah. I like this gym. It's about what well, the gym for me. It's more about the comfortable feeling, like not feeling like people looking at me. Weirdly, because I'm fat and in the gym. I mean, because you get shame regard. Like, yeah, you're not thinking. People look at me. Yeah, but I'm just saying we two we two different sizes. So mine is more so people looking at me. But you'd be surprised. It's way more bigger people than you in the gym. Okay. And it's very commendable. I thought it make me feel better because there's bigger people in the gym. And this steps, baby steps. <laughs> well, we do probably mentally ready though. 
Yeah. Yeah, and you just need to jump in the gym with no plan. You gotta jump in there with a meal plan. Not a meal. Well, if you wanna lose weight. If you're going for the lose weight. If you're going for losing weight purposes. You gotta go with a meal plan. But me personally, I don't even wanna go. I just wanna be mentally there. Like, I wanna be dedicated enough where I do that kind of thing. I want to do that. I want I want to be able to want to do it, not me getting pushed by somebody else because I want my whole life being pushed by somebody else. Yeah. I want my whole life being pushed by somebody else to work out. Ooh. Not my mom. Oh. Rather than me wanting to do it. So. JT? I don't know what I'm doing with the gym. Oh, okay, y'all. So I'm home now. And I'm just setting up the pizza. So I just came back from the store. I got some shisha, some tobacco free shisha. So we're going to do it with the. Which one you going to do, babe? The mango ice or the strawberry ice? Strawberry. Strawberry. All right, so we're gonna mix it. We're gonna do the strawberry in the mat. I think it was like two dollars, no, or six, some shit like that. Three six nine. Nah, they probably like four dollars each. Cause it was like twelve something. So cute. Good, right when you mix that mint. Yeah, it's a nice little taste. This shit busting. I ain't even going front. This shit busting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it right here. Mm. It tastes good. Let me give you a couple of O's. Mm -hmm. Bossing babe. This shit just threw one in my hairy. The fuck is you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a nice little vibe, yeah. Uh -huh. That's just how we are. That's what we like to indulge in. We ain't that crazy exotic couple. We just that regular chill couple. We are. That do basic shit every day. We Nothing do. Nothing too exciting. Nothing but it's too exciting for us, right? Yeah, it's enticing, yeah. I say exciting, but we can be enticing too. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, butter's got a new little cage, honey. I don't know how to act. And now he think he's moving to an apartment building. Look at him. Girl, like. He think he's just an apartment building or something. <laughs> Like, look at him, he's so happy that it belongs yeah. to him. Yeah, he done been walking back and forth. Boo boo. Thank you, Bear. And it's my new crib. Yeah. That's your new crib. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Hi, guys. It's the next day, of course. And I'm in my room because I'm never vlogging in my room. Very weird of me. I don't vlog in here at all. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, I think because the lighting is never right, because we always have our blinds closed in our bedroom for some odd reason. Well, it's not no odd reason. We live on the first floor. So Rodney has this thing that he always feel like people could see him, but 
in reality nobody can't even see you until it's nighttime but yeah so i never vlog in here and today i i have to clean up like if you can't see like behind me my sneakers Look at, I just want to show y'all. Shoot, look at my room. I still didn't unpack from Miami. Shoes all under here. This picture, that picture fell down from there. So I need to get a thing. Ugh. And then my clock, look at all these shoes down. I got to fill my shoes again. I have to wash clothes. I need to clean up my closet. The clothes hung up right there, but bathing suit, panties. It's just... Everything is just looking terrible. So it's just it's just looking really crazy up in here. And I need to clean up. I don't feel like cleaning up. Is that bad that I don't want to clean up today? Like I don't want to clean up. I'm tired. I'm always tired. Let me put some chaps up on lip gloss for that book. Because my lips stay dry. I be looking back at my videos and be like, girl, what happened to you? Your lips always dry now. I want to clean up today. Like, I really do, but I'm just not in the mood. And Rodney got all these new sneakers. He has nowhere to put them. He's running out of space. Space is just getting becoming limited in his apartment. And uh, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I feel like it's just it's just becoming to a point where we're gonna be having to move soon because we don't have no space no more how we used to before we when we first moved in. But anyway, I started the video because I just wanted to come up here and just tell y'all how appreciative I am for you guys. Um, like I, I'm just I'm full of love, and I just I just really want to say thank you for supporting me and just believing in me and just being who y'all are and just being so supportive like i really do um i am taking half of the credit because <laughs> if i don't like but i'm taking half of the credit because um i i just feel so good to the point where like i made goals for myself and i wrote them down and i start working towards them and when i start working to when i started working towards my goals that's when stuff really started happening for me um last year when i started my channel i was i had used i was using my camcorder i bought for my old channel and I always knew that I wanted a, a newer camera. That was my goal before buying the camcorder, but I settled for the camcorder because I'm like, you know what? It was affordable. It made ends meet. It worked for me. It was perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. So I, I, I used the camcorder. And then um, I knew, like, once I, I always knew I wanted to start my own channel, and I knew that I wanted to come on my channel and, and revamp it. And I put in my head, this is before I even started writing down, but I put it in my head that I wanted to get a new camera. And it didn't matter the cost. And when I was it, when I had the money, I got the camera. And I'm grateful for that. Like I was able, I was financially able to buy the camera that I wanted. And I got the camera and my page, my channel revamped from then buying the new camera. It just made content a hundred times better. It was just it. It was that. That's what I needed for the push. So when I bought the camera, it just made me more motivated to want to record because I'm able to. I have this great camera, and it was just it was perfect for me. And then um, I got discouraged. Uh, I I started getting discouraged because I used to look at other people's channels and just see how they just develop and they just grow. And like, not it wasn't jealousy, but it was more like, oh man, like I want to be like that too. And it's like, oh, but my journey is taking so much longer. And I and like, I don't even know how long their journey took. So I had to take myself out of that mindset, like of being discouraged by seeing other people achieve. Like I wanted to be happy about people achieving and coming up with coming up in their journey and just like having that breaking point. So. I stopped feeling like that 
I stopped feeling bad for myself and start putting in the work where I wanted to where and just I start putting in the work where I felt comfortable and this is my journey and I'm walking in my own path and that's what I had to learn to get over and get past for me to be successful and um I made a goal if you I probably put the clip in I always have put a clip in I never do but I think I'm gonna put the clip in. A short term goal I'm just gonna share one is to, well two is to get monetized and to um hit 3k at least by the summer those are my two goals my short-term goals that I have for myself is to get monetized and to hit 3k subscribers this summer and being able to apply being able to be eligible and being able to apply to be monetized was um so groundbreaking for me it was amazing it, it was an amazing feeling because like wow i was able to do like i made it happen i made this happen and i couldn't make this happen without you guys viewing my video so i just want to say thank you this is just a moment where i just want to uh, this is an appreciation <laughs> video right now clip because i really i really do appreciate you guys supporting me and just watching my stuff and just taking the time out commenting and liking my videos i really do appreciate that and just thank you again so I, I just wanted to walk you out on my little journey and like now I have other goals too like since I hit this goal I have other goals I want to meet and reach this year it's really big for me and I just I just want to say enjoy the journey with me enjoy the journey I'm gonna be back with word of the days like um I noticed that I'm more active in the summer like and I, I get dressed more in the summer I'm doing more in the summer and like right now I feel like I just been like I've been I traveled a lot in these last few months and I haven't been able to vlog how I really want to vlog but I have been giving you content I keep saying I haven't been vlogging how I want to vlog but I don't know what I mean by that I think it's more so giving y'all outfits other days. I really miss getting dressed and cute. I feel like I haven't been cute like that. It's just been too much going on in my life. But I I feel like um I feel like I had like a seasonal depression. I'm not sure if I did, but I feel like I did because once the spring came in, I like I felt like I had like this burst of energy and like I was able to clean how I wanted to and like just doing stuff how i want to like i was able to get organized my closet like and it's, i gotta fix my shoes right now but like have my clothes hung up and have all my laundry washed is a big thing for me like so i think i had like a seasonal seasonal depression or something because this winter i was just so stuck in the house and i just felt like i was going to work and stuck in the house and getting covid like it just put a toll on me so I'm excited for the things that this I feel like the summer is gonna be really great this spring slash summer it's gonna be great this year um yeah so I'm gonna catch you on the next clip I know I was just I, I was just babbling oh god but I, I just want to say thank you because I feel like I don't say thank you enough and we're getting there we're on the road to 2k <laughs> that's very exciting so that's the next goal to get to 2k and yeah we're gonna make it happen guys i'm back of course i got my pink floyd shirt on because i always got this shirt on every damn vlog i don't know why but i do it's just like the most convenient shirt i have so i just want to show y'all what my little shopping finds because i went out to the store and i only went for one thing and end up leaving with more stuff than i was supposed to but I found some Adidas. I went to Burlington and I got these Adidas. Really cute. Tag on them still. Really cute. I got them for $26. Love the colorway. And of course, Rodney got the same ones like me because you know we like to be cute. And then I got some uh, Tupperware bowls for my um cabinet because like i said for the hundredth time i need to organize those cabinets so today that's what we're doing i got that and i got these for the i got some ice trees for my freezer 
Becky, can you pass me the glasses that I got? And I got us some plates, um, a plate set, and I got us um, a, a glass set for our glass. Well, because I realized that I never went and bought those things when we moved because his mom had gave us a bunch of stuff. And I realized that we didn't have like cups and all that. So I got these right here. They're really cute. I like this look. It gives like a little nice little chic look. Like see how it's got like the, yeah, I like that. It's really cute. It's giving what it's supposed to give. So I got these to account. And guess how much I bought them for? $8.99. And then I got these from Walmart. I went with a nice simple white plate set. It has four big plates, four small plates, and then four bowls. And I got it for $9.47. So $10 for this little set. That's perfect because it's we don't it's only two of us so I just want to have it for when we do have guests and then we do like cook dinner. I just want to have this because I'm about to clean out all we have a bunch of Tupperware bowls. I don't know why, but we have a bunch and I'm over it. So I'm about to organize our cabinets and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I want my camera to charge up a little bit and then we're gonna get right into it. I'll be right back. Alright, y'all. So I'm in the kitchen and we're about to Ryan already cleaned some out. Look at all these little Tupperware bowls that we had. Garbage, garbage, garbage. So now I gotta get this right. Sit so you right here. And yeah. This is the miscellaneous cabinet with a bunch of bottles and stuff. My bottles. So, oh, that wasn't bad at all. I never was able to put these up. I don't know if I ever. I never was able to put these up. I don't know if you ever seen me. Bay, where my other big wine glass? I'm missing two. These are my big wine glasses. I got these from Ikea for like 12 bucks and I had got six, one broke, but I had got six. So now I finally could put them in the cabinet because we have space. Uh-uh, I need a chair. It's still stuff in there. I'll be back, yeah. Alright, hey y'all. So uh, I finally got done cleaning. I I recorded it, but that shit wasn't cute. So I didn't I'm not yeah, I ain't seeing it. Anyway, so currently right now I'm uploading and about to edit um 
the Miami trip. Oh, it's got to be out by Sunday, so I'm, I'm just working over it. Now, I just want it to be uploaded to my my editing software, so tomorrow I can edit. Um, And I just posted a picture on IG. I had to do a collab professional because... um. Oh, she look cute. She always look cute. She just commented on my page, too. That's funny. She looks so good. But, yes, I just posted on IG. Um, oh, yeah, I just posted on IG. I just posted the picture. I had to do a collab for the sandals I have wore for Miami. It's been a while since I did the Fashion Nova. Um featured post a sponsored post for fashion over so i had to get that out because um i don't have no more stuff to wear and i can't take pictures today because i can't take pictures at all this week because i left my freaking flash with my sister and as you know stop butters as you know the zv1 sorry it's all it's all slanted. stop but as you know the zv1 doesn't come with uh um a flash i don't know if i knew that or not but yes it doesn't come with a flash so i had to buy a um a hot shoe flash for my my camera so i can't take pictures unless i have my camera so i can't have pictures coming out right now because like i like my pictures to be high quality now my camera does not give what it's supposed to give anymore so yeah with my phone if i had a newer phone then my like i wouldn't have to worry so uh I think it's about to be time for me to buy a new phone because when shit like this happens, like, because I'm so dependent on my camera. I take my pictures on my camera. I record on my camera. I do all of that. I don't do nothing on my phone anymore because it doesn't get the quality it's supposed to give. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't get nothing out. And I know she probably was like, damn, bitch, where you been? Like, what are you doing? She probably thought I just, like, stopped doing it. But I didn't. So, I have to, um... I posted that. Hopefully, <laughs> that's going to have to work for now until next week until I get my uh, flash. And maybe I'll make something happen at home. I'll do something in the house with one of my fits. I don't even know. I don't have nothing. But currently, um, we got like a little, we got a little trip coming up again. So I'm excited. I'm going to Delaware with my family next weekend. My It was like a, a surprise, like family get together a family getaway my brother uh paid and fold the whole trip for us so um i will be recording that of course um i'm excited so i have to pack uh this week because it's next week um so i'm honestly probably gonna take everything i took to miami with me that i did not get to wear so i'm just gonna take all of that so i can have some content rolling out on instagram because i didn't i didn't like i said i didn't take pictures in miami like that um because i was like literally having fun my phone was dead and my camera was dying half the time too so like i barely got pictures how i wanted to and i really it's okay like because i didn't go to miami to post on instagram you know what i'm saying i went to miami to enjoy my birthday not post about it so i didn't really mind about that um yeah i it's exciting so i'm really excited about that i don't have any sponsorship posts uh right now well i have one i have to post i think i'm gonna post it this weekend i think that'll be cute maybe i post that sunday i'm gonna take a picture in it tomorrow and post it sunday and post i'm gonna it's gonna be like a little mini promo for my vlog for tomorrow too so maybe i just do that very excited about that so yeah, I'm just about to edit this video. We'll upload these clips to the editing software so I can be able to edit tonight when I come home and also edit tomorrow. I'm, I'm behind schedule because this is supposed to have been edited and looked through or whatever because usually when I edit like this, when I do it, when I jam it like this, I get copyright claims all the time when I freaking rush it. So I'm kind of upset at myself because I'm behind schedule, but I've really just been trying to take time to relax because I'm really tired and I just been having like a busy, busy schedule, like with my personal life, like not working, but just with my personal life and I've been enjoying it. So I'm very excited. So I'll be back later. I'm just about to get these videos uploaded and I'm going tonight. I'm going to hang out with my sister and her boyfriend. So it's going to be like a little double date thing with me and Rodney and her and her boyfriend going to my sister's new apartment. So I'll take you with me there and I'll see you later. Yeah. I am faded. I know Keisha, you're going to get mad at my vlog this week, but we got the Henny. Don't give me. We got the Henny. 
Y'all know my sister is funny. She don't fucking play that type of shit. But I'm still gonna get her a camera because she acting funny. But that, bro. <laughs> Put on the, you know, the pimp joint. I was gonna give Rodney a pinky ring, bitch. You know,